and Bitcoin rockets as inflation comes in less than expected. We just had the CPI report come in showing inflation could be over. Jerome Powell could possibly be ending his rate hiking cycle. This is hugely bullish for markets. Bitcoin originally started the day off weak here, falling down to 36.2, now sitting back at 36.6, recovering the day into a green candle. What does this mean for the wider price action? Where could we be heading from now? Loads to get into, guys. Smash up the likes. Do not forget to subscribe. As always, if you want to trade with us, ijaz.uk forward slash TG. Plus, check out the links in the description which support the channel. Now, guys, let's start off here with the headline inflation rate. Markets were expecting this to come in at 3.3% headline inflation. It came in at 3.2 below the expectations. Really, really positive, showing a reduction from 3.7 the month before. Let's then move it on to month over month. This is the huge surprise because over month over month figures, the consensus was 0.1%, which is an annualized rate of 1.2%. It came in at zero. You had no inflation in this last month on headline inflation, despite all the geopolitical issues going on, which is really positive here for markets. We then move on to our core inflation, which of course strips out food and energy. And you can see that the markets were expecting 4.1% and it came in bang on the money at that 4.1%, dropping down further from the 4.3 and 4.7 we had in the month's price. A nice steady decline here. Remember, just October 2022, you're talking 6.3% core inflation now down to 4.1%. And Jerome Powell's proving to the markets that he's getting this loft landing. He's not damaged the labor market. He's not damaged the economy. And yet inflation to now is still falling to the downside. Now, of course, it's important we caveat this, right? Because there could still be a little bit of entrenchflation. But right now, that's not proven to be the case. So right now, you've got 4.1% inflation. Now, of course, Jerome Powell's continued to say, I need to get this down to that 2% level. And I'm not going to stop until I get this 2% level. I've got this chance to do it now, and I need to do it. Otherwise, we could have longer term 3 to 4% inflation embedded in the economy, entrenched in the economy. So he's going to want to finish this off. Now, will that mean he'll do a rate hike? Well, currently, the markets are saying no. The markets are saying that that December rate hike he had priced in at his previous projections, maybe he just won't use it. And remember, if he doesn't use it, that's really positive for markets, because at one point, Point, markets had that priced in and now markets have been you've seen with the recent euphoria we've seen in crypto started to unprice that in because look 80 percent of the market don't expect him to rate hike at the meeting on december the 13th just shy of a month from now the final figure we then had was this impressive figure which was 0.33 expected here on the month over month core inflation that came in bang on the money as well. Markets are really, really happy with this inflation report. And you could see that by dropping down to the Bitcoin hourly chart that Bitcoin was happy to nice big candlestick here uh, as the announcement was made. And now Bitcoin here on the hourly chart is forming a bit of a W pattern, right? You look here on the hourly chart straight away, you can see a bit of a W trying to form if it can continue to work its way up and reclaim its hourly EMA ribbon that could signal a short term move here to the upside. Now, if we zoom out really back to the four hourly chart, what you'll notice is, what did we just have? Hold up, crypto traders. Bybit, our friends, have some great trading competitions open to registrations right now. If you're a derivatives trader, you've got the Trade Masters Grand Prix where you can win up to a million dollars. If you're a spot trader like me, you've got the Bybit Spot Trading Titans competition where you can win up to a hundred thousand dollars. Also, this is a bi-monthly competition running throughout the year, leading to a final competition next year. The winners can earn up to a million dollars in a prize pool. Plus, have a chance to join the final competition where you'll be invited for an all expenses paid trip and gala event to Dubai, Thailand or Singapore. Definitely check that out. The links will be in the description for these two awesome competitions. Do know if you are using the derivative options, there are some conditions. You need to have a minimum of a thousand dollars in assets to join the competitions and users who become a VIP trader during the competition timeline will also win 800 US dollars in bonuses. If you're doing the spot option, then there is no requirement for the wallet balance. But of course, the price pool is a little bit smaller at $100,000. Registration are currently open. You can see here the registration for this period is open, but it's a bi-monthly competition. Check out my links in the description if you want to check out this competition. <laughs> Thank you.
we had a curling over into our EMA ribbon. Perfectly normal and expected. I don't know why so many people were panicking here. Bitcoin was just calling off and retesting its 4-hourly EMA ribbon. And guess what? Even if it wants to go a bit more, nobody cares. It's actually a good thing. Because look, we were in this rising channel, right, here on Bitcoin. It was consolidating in an upward manner. But look at this on the daily chart. We've not even come down to test our daily EMA ribbon, right? You could come all the way down to here at 35,000 and even lower down here into 33.5 and even down all the way to here to 32. And all this is, is a retest of the EMA ribbon. It's actually a healthy thing to do to retest it before then continuing your upward move. So right now, Bitcoin was in the process of having that calling off, which nobody should have been surprised about. You shouldn't be chasing green candles in here. That's very silly to do. You want to be waiting from positions of strength, which are coming into this area and trying to get your nibbles when the market is fearful. But now, given this inflation figure, the market's saying, forget it, we don't even need to call off that much. So it is very possible that Bitcoin may just say, you know what, forget it, that's enough of a calling off here, down to that 36 level, off we go now, and attack that 38.4. So I'm getting ready from both aspects. Yes, we like technical analysis. Yes, we like the fact that, oh, in a perfect world, we'll come and retest the CMA ribbon, and then off we go. But at the end of the day, you've got a ladder in the macroeconomics. And that's what I try to do here on this channel. I show you the technicals, I'll show you the fundamentals, and I'll always ladder in the economics because that's what I learned from TradFi, and that's what I'm trying to bring to you guys as well. Laddering in that macro, understanding what Jerome Powell's doing, understanding the wider economy, because it actually dictates your investments as well. So that's what I'm watching here on the Bitcoin chart. If we take a look here at Bitcoin dominance, you can see it falling slightly here today, but nothing crazy, right? Again, a pull off into the into the daily EMA ribbon here for the Bitcoin dominance. If we took look at other altcoins across the market, we could see that they were kind of muted in silence earlier today. But now that this CPI reading has come, maybe we'll start to see a bit more green come into the rest of the day here for altcoins. Matic up an impressive 9.4%. The Bit get token up 9.7% because they're looking to acquire a very big Hong Kong exchange or at least part of it anyway which is impressive also seeing the OKX token move as well probably in sympathy with positive exchange listings as well so then we want to move back here into the fear and greed index you can see the market sitting here pretty greedy right it's sitting at 69 and so the question really right now is what is it we're trying to do what is it we're trying to do in this market and my game plan is very straightforward right you would not catch me chasing these green candles i would not be buying on these crazy days where we see three percent four percent five percent six percent or more i'm not buying i don't need to buy in green there's so many red days in crypto just when you think there's no red days coming you will get red days and so for me i want to be buying from positions of strength if that means i can get it into the daily EMA ribbon perfect if i'm feeling a little bit of FOMO because let's face it we're all humans I hate the kind of people who say oh they never get FOMO you do we're all humans then I will allow myself to sometimes buy in deep into the EMA ribbon on the four hourly chart so for now for example if I took a little bit of a nibble this morning before the CPI reading that would have been fine I wouldn't have said oh that's horrible just would have taken a nice little nibble because it's pulling back closer to 36k far better than somebody who's buying on the peak of this candle here knocking on the door of 38,000 and it's more a psychology aspect right it's more a psychology of an aspect of saying hang on I, as an investor, do not need the market to give me affirmation. I do not need these green candles to tell me what Bitcoin is worth. I know what it's worth and I want to add it to my portfolio. Therefore, I will add from positions of strength when I want to DCA and when I want to add. I'm not going to wait for a 6% day for the market to tell me, oh, look, it's doing so great. You need to get in. That's exactly when I don't want to be getting it. Okay, so that's my rule of thumb is I use like the anti-indicator of what everybody else generally does. In other news, you're still seeing Phantom Rocket here up another 35 percent here today yesterday it did have a little bit of a calling off down seven percent not to be you know it's not surprising given the extended move it's had here over the, you know the last couple of weeks really here since 19th of october really powerful move to the upside yesterday of course being uh, a monday kind of cooled off but now you're starting to see it pick it back up again which is impressive solana up another five percent here again just having a couple of days over the weekend of calling off plus a little bit of a fall yesterday with the wider markets but now trying to recover those gains but really what we need to remind ourselves of is like like the macro shift is really happening like and that's what makes me feel really positive it's not just about crypto the the wider economy and the wider world is starting to rotate risk back on and that's what you need to understand crypto is a risk on asset and i've been harping on about this for a very long time look at this chart this is the singular chart if you had to trade crypto you should use not even the bitcoin chart the dollar index chart look at the dollar index it's been decimated here today after the cpi reading pushed down here to the downside and now creating if we can close at these levels a lower low 
right? Look at this low here. It formed and it bounced and had a couple of positive days. We're getting a lower low. And this is really positive because if I show you the weekly chart here, we've managed to put it back in its box because at one point it was really worrying. It was really worrying how it was moving to the upside. It broke through the purple level and looked like it really wanted to go and test some of these highs up here, but we've managed to send it back down. Now, the job is not complete on dollar index. I do need to hold out to see, can we make it lose its weekly EMA ribbon? If we can, that's a major, major coup here. Because if we study the cycles of the past, every time the dollar index has lost its weekly EMA ribbon and had a sustained period to the downside here, that is when crypto has done well. That is when the NASDAQ has done well. That's when watches and these types of asset class do well because risk fundamentally rotates back on. We're starting to feel that in the ether. People are searching for yield. People are searching for risky investment investments again. They no longer are happy with the cash in the bank account. They're no longer happy with the money sitting in government bonds. They're ready to allocate their capital again. And that is when you start to see money flow into the markets. You're seeing the total market cap of crypto climb here steadily with Bitcoin now and the associated cryptos now sitting at 1.36 trillion. And this is all positive signs for what is to come next. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Surprise, surprise inflation. And things are really starting to line up positively here for crypto. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash all the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.